Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster and music journalist based in the UK. Today, I would like to talk to you about this. It's another one of those great releases from Cherry Red, Global Village Trucking Company. Now, if you were around in the early 70s, early to mid 70s, and you were going to festivals, free festivals and things like that, or free gigs, fundraising gigs, you would probably find Global Village Trucking Company playing at those gigs. They were one of these bands. This is, I won't say it's a squat, it's a commune really, it's a lovely house down south. Uh, and the band, their roadies, their wives, the children, everything, they were, uh, they were all living in that house, uh, which was the big thing to do. They were led by a guy called James LaSalle's, and uh, his brother Jeremy was in there as well on percussion. They were basically posh boys. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but they were, uh, they were a great little band because they played together so often. They were really, really tight. Now, another member of the band uh, was a guy called John McKenzie. And uh, we'll come to him in a little minute. But this album, or this double set, contains their one album. They only made one album because they weren't into albums, man. They were more about the live work and fundraising for good charities and good causes. Um, but they made one album for Caroline, which I think Caroline was part of Virgin. I'm not altogether sure. I remember thinking at the time, uh, I think Virgin certainly distributed Caroline records. I, I know David Allen of Gong uh, made albums for Caroline. But uh, they made one album, and, and again, it, this, uh, lots of different styles, but they were one of those sort of jamming kind of bands, which, but they made some really good songs very tight and uh, they're you know not too long i mean there's a couple of songs on here that really are very mainstream that's the first album there you get a second album here with um other stuff outtakes and things like that on but what happened there you go that is probably a good picture of the band sometimes there's a bit of a floating lineup to be honest with you but uh, they weren't into the the music business although james and jeremy kind of thought differently as they went into the 80s at one point i mean james was releasing mainstream albums along with a lot of other artists and uh, jeremy became the ceo of chrysalis records so from being a hey we're going to change the world man uh they kind of became very corporate <laughs> towards uh, the 80s which is fair enough a lot of bands did i mean you know hawkwind and the Pink Fairies, they 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 went they went a little bit more mainstream uh, rock, that is, and um, I have to say that, that these photos in here, that, there you go. There's the two CDs, and there's the band. Now John McKenzie, who was the bass player, and he was an excellent bass player, he really was. I saw him both with Man and with Steve Hillage. He left the Global Village Trucking Company, or they they split up, and he ended up playing with Man on their final album of the 70s called The Welsh Connection. And then of course on their final live album, All's Well That Ends Well, which was filmed and recorded. Uh, after that, he ended up with Steve Hillage. And if you went to see Steve Hillage in around about 1979 on the open tour, John McKenzie was the bass player on that particular album and tour. Great bass player, sadly no longer with us, but uh, a wonderful bass player. These were actually a great little band, I must say. and. Um, I remember seeing them in London, probably about 74, maybe a bit before that. Um, they they appeared on um, a, a live at Dingwalls. It was like a Greasy Truckers Volume 2, and they uh, were on that. They were basically raising money for Dingwalls, uh, which was a big music venue in London. It wasn't so much a big one, but certainly an important one. And they were on there with, um, I think, Camel were the other big band on there. But uh, yeah, a great band, certainly one to investigate. Musically, yeah, it, it's very easy to listen to. I, I, that, that doesn't mean it's easy listening by any stretch of the imagination, but they are a really good band. And if you hunt around on YouTube, you will find a documentary. The BBC made a documentary about them and then they made another documentary years later where they'd all gone and what had happened. So they're obviously an interesting band and definitely on the radar. Of a lot of people certainly in the music industry and of course at the BBC if you're going to spend money making a documentary you've got to be reasonably interesting and important so there it is it's out now through Cherry Red again if you go to the Cherry Red website cherryred.co.uk put Global Village Trucking Company into the search item and this little beauty will turn up and uh, it's well worth listening to there's some great music on here and uh, 
certainly of its time, of course, but it stands up pretty well considering the time in which he was recorded, which of course was the 70s. But um, some of the members went on to bigger and better things after the Global Village Trucking Company, uh, which is good news, I guess, for them. But uh, if you want to relive those heady days of uh, free concerts and fundraising gigs, this is a great album. Thanks for watching.